Hi guys, I'm Camille and today I'm taking you to try the best croissant in Paris. So I've curated a list of the best Parisian croissants according to the locals based on rewards, uh, Google reviews, culinary critiques and of course my own personal experience as a Parisian. We're going to visit several bakeries today and at the end of the video I will try to rank the different croissants. Right now I'm super hungry so let's go! So before you try your first croissant, let's discuss what you should be looking for when you're eating croissant. You should really rely on your different senses. So first one, the sight. What does the croissant look like on the outside? Like, is it plump? Is it generous? And on the inside, is it yellow? Is it like honeycombed, which shows like all the layers inside? Second, the touch. Is it crunchy on the outside? Is it fluffy on the inside? And bonus, is it still warm from the oven? Third one, the smell. What does it smell like? What does the smell bring out in you? And of course, fourth and final, the taste. What does the croissant taste like? Is it sweet? Is it too sweet? Is it a bit caramelized? So now that you know what to look for when you're eating a croissant, let's try it out with the first one. This croissant comes from Boulangerie Liberté. Okay, so on this side, on the outside, it's gorgeous, it's very generous, I just want to dive in. You can see the different layers. So let's open it. Mm. Okay, it's very crunchy. You can really see the, the fact that it's honeycombed. Well, I don't know if you can really see. Let's smell it. Mm. I just want to dive in. I haven't eaten yet, so let's go. Let's go to my personal favorite part, this one. Mm. It's very good. At first it was sweet and then there was this aftertaste of sourdough. It's super crunchy but at the same time it just melts in your mouth. Let's move on to the second boulangerie. So we've arrived at Gare du Nord and I saw this, like a huge queue at Paul. Please promise not to come to Paul if you ever come to France. Okay, so it's time to try the, the second croissant, which I took at uh, the Boulanger Carton. I'm very excited about this one because it got the award of the best uh, croissant au beurre of the Parisian region. So look how beautiful. I mean, it's so generous, nearly caramelized. Mm, even the smell, you don't even need to open it and the smell is already amazing. So I'm going to open it though. Oh, so crunchy. Oh, it's beautiful. You can really see the, the honeycomb. Look. Oh, the smell is amazing. It's nearly caramelized. It's really funny. Mm. Okay. It's very, very good, of course. Uh, there's this caramelized aftertaste that I really love. However, um, I thought it was a bit dry compared to the other one that I had this morning. Always have water with you if you're going on a croissant food tour. So, the next croissant. So let's try the croissant from Maison Louvard. As you can see, it's a bit different. Its shape is more rustic, I would say. But I really like it. It also looks a bit caramelized, look. Regarding the touch, it's very crispy. I don't know if you can hear it. So let's open it. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait. I didn't even want to look at it. I didn't want to smell it. I wanted to eat it. Okay, so inside you can see that it's very dense compared to the other ones. So, if we smell it, oh, it smells like childhood. It's amazing. Mm, I think I could, I could smell this all day. Mm. I think this one is the most different from the other ones because it's so dense on the inside. It's not as um, airy, but the taste is amazing. 
it's very buttery. I really like this. I love the taste. I prefer more airy consistencies, but it's amazing. So it's now time to go and enjoy the last croissant. Let's go. Now we have the last croissant. It's from Mamie. It's one of my favorite bakeries here in Paris, and it's very, very popular with the locals. First, regarding the visual, well, it's very, I would say, traditional, uh, not very plump, but uh, it has beautiful colors. If we open it, look how fluffy it is. For the touch, it's very, very crunchy. I don't know if you can hear it, but so it's perfect. And now the smell. Mm. Mm. It's, it's really good. It's very buttery. So now let's try it. It's exactly what I would expect in a croissant, so I'm, I really love this one. It's the right balance between sweet yet very buttery. It's delicious. It's the kind of croissant that makes me want to eat croissant all day. Now that we have visited all these boulangeries, it's time for me to tell you which one is my favorite. I think if I had to eat a croissant for the rest of my life, it would be the one at Mamiche because I think it's the most comforting and it's the one I prefer in taste. My second favorite is uh, La Boulangerie Liberté because it was also very good and uh, kind of original with the sourdough aftertaste. My third favorite, I think, would be Maison Louvard because the smell just brought me back to like childhood and uh, I really like the very rustic shape. And last but not least, it would be the croissant from Carton Boulangerie. It was delicious, it was very, very generous, but I think the one I got was a bit drier than what I usually like to have in croissant, so that's why it would be in the last position of my ranking. But I mean, all those croissants were amazing. I'm so glad we got to eat them. And you can, of course, go to all these bakeries with your eyes closed because they're very, very good croissants. So now that I've told you about my ranking, what do you think about it? What is your ranking? Have you tried any of those boulangeries? Which one is your favorite? Do you think I should have added other boulangeries in my food tour? Don't hesitate to comment with your input. And of course, if you guys enjoy the video, I would love to do a round two of the croissant food tour because there are so many other options of amazing croissant here. I'm definitely preparing other food and pastry options here in Paris. So if you'd like to check that out, don't hesitate to subscribe and uh, thank you so much for being here, for watching the video and I will see you soon. Bye bye!